So even the J dubs get it right. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard. Biblical wisdom from Pastor Vicky coming up next. All right, welcome, welcome. Um, this video is from, in the essence of not being a copycat Ed Litton, this video is from The Daily Disciple, a guy who's much less long-winded than me on YouTube. He's worth checking out, I think. He's got little clips and things like this. He posts a video from Pastor Vicky. She's not wearing the clerical garb, so I'm not sure when this is, whether it's a Sunday, it's probably like a Sunday night or something like that. But somebody asked a question, and it's a question that is <clears throat> really, really easily answered. And of course, it's a woman talking to another woman about the deep things of God. Not to say women can't do that, but this already shows the structure with Pastor Vicky, right? Men and women are created men in God's image. We understand that. Without further ado, let's play this and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit. Pastor Vicki, did Jesus die for our sins? That is a line that the church has used for hundreds of years that does not really make sense to me. That is a line that the church has used for hundreds of years that does not really make sense to me. Jesus died because Jesus challenged the status quo and the leaders of the church at the time and the leaders of the Roman Empire were not happy with his challenges to love one another, to treat all fairly and to welcome the most marginalized in the community. That, that is why Jesus died. He was killed by those who feared him. Okay. So the only truth besides that Jesus died that she just spoke is that Jesus died because of those who feared him. Now that is true. However, it was the Jewish establishment who killed Jesus with the help of Rome. Now there was no church at that time, so she's already lying, but it's a lie. She said it's a lie that Jesus died for our sins. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, like, we all have different levels of discerning and different gifts and, and everything else. But you don't need to have the gift of discernment. You don't even need to have a Bible. <laughs> um, you just need to like have talked to a Christian for a few minutes who's actually a believer and know that this isn't true. And yet this woman, woman, claims to be a pastor, right? She uses the title Pastor Vicky. Well... Let's see. Let's see what the Bible has to say. First Timothy, though, 1.15 says what? This saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance. That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am foremost. Oh. So it's not about Jesus dying to save the marginalized. He didn't get killed because of something like that. Rather, he came into the world to save sinners. Now, that doesn't really talk about Jesus dying, per se, but there's plenty of others that do. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. That there is Romans 5, 10, talking about the first Adam and the second Adam and all the rest. So, in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive right before that, it says in Romans 5. And so, that's the reason Jesus died. Not for the marginalized only. Not because he challenged the status quo. Now, in some respects, he did challenge the status quo, of course, because they were looking for a warrior. They were looking for a Christ to do this other thing and not this guy from Nazareth, anything good come from Nazareth, Bethlehem, was your dad just a carpenter, you're, you, you were probably the son of a Roman, like your mother's a, um, an adulteress, like all this stuff, right? No, that's not what the scripture says, Pastor Vicky. The scripture says that Jesus 
died so that we would be reconciled to God. As the Christmas song, God and sinner reconciled. Meaning there's a canyon between us caused by our rebellion, caused by human sin. That's why. Okay. So what in the world type of Christianity is this? Well, I'm glad you asked. This isn't Christianity at all. This is a cult. Okay. This is an aberrant form. It's another religion. Um, Christianity and liberalism is a great book from about a hundred years ago. J. Gresham Machen. Great book. It can be found in a number of places. And <clears throat> Jesus died for our sin. The remission of sin. The whole world's sin put on him to bear the brunt of it. And in forgiveness, in, in, in uh, relation, in exchange, forgiveness of sins. Reconciliation. And of course... Hebrews, one of my favorite books, 2.8. For in that he put all things in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do not yet see everything put under him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was sitting, fitting for him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all one. Oh, this, I could just read all day. By the grace of God, he tastes death for everyone. That does bother some people, but that's what the text says. For it was fitting for him whom all things bringing many sons to glory. That's that reconciliation. How did he do that, Pastor Vicky? If he didn't do that, by dying. If somehow he did it a different way. That doesn't make any sense. And not only does it not make any sense, you're being heretical. You're being divisive. I said this yesterday. You're being divisive, which is false. It's both false teaching and divisiveness. That's what heresy truly is. Sometimes you'll teach something and it's not quite correct, but you're seeking to be unified. You're seeking to honor the Lord. You're seeking to walk by faith and not by sight. However, when you're seeking to divide and lump off and do other things, well, that's heresy. In fact, speaking of heresy and heretics, JW.org, not Christian. I hope you all know that, um, but they are a cult. Even the J-dubs get it right. Even, you know, the little name tags, but they kind of dress nice. I always come around in pairs. Jesus died. This is from JW.org. The Bible's answer when I looked up, why did Jesus die? So Jesus died so that humans could have their sins forgiven and receive endless life. Romans 6.23 and Ephesians 1.7. Didn't cite those, but you can check them out. <clears throat> Jesus' death also proved that a human can remain loyal to God even when faced with the severest test, Hebrews 4.15. Remember, uh, Jesus is not God in the JW worldview. Okay, He is he's a, he is Michael the Archangel, reincarnate, so on, so on, forth there, so on and so forth. So he's not God, but he's a really, really you know great guy. Uh, they take Colossians 1, the firstborn of all creation, uh, and so on as, quote-unquote, literal, and they run with that not realizing that that means something completely different. So even the J-dubs get it right. So Pastor Vicky here, you're not a pastor. You should repent and believe. I doubt you're going to watch this. Uh, but again, thank you, Daily Disciple, for this video. Uh, go ahead and check out his channel. I'll put it in the link. But until next time, I'm helping you be against the world for the sake of the world. If you found this helpful, go ahead and uh, drop a comment. It does help the algorithm. Uh, go ahead and mash that like button as well. Again, it helps it get out to more people. Challenge the world and what it is and where it goes wrong with Christ, with the Bible, with God in general. So until next time, be contramundum promundum. Take care.